In February 1946, the U.S. government revealed to the public the existence of a secret computer, which had been developed under the code name Project PX. The computer was called ENIAC, a massive electronic digital computer. Begun in 1943, under the authority of the U.S. Army, the ENIAC was developed at the Moore School of Electrical Engineering at the University of Pennsylvania. The following film is perhaps one of the earliest existing video records of a fully operational electronic digital computer ever made. This originally silent film has been carefully edited to remove lighting imperfections and other issues present in the original. In all other respects, it contains 100% of the original film footage and is provided here for historical purposes. ENIAC stands for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. It was the world's first large-scale digital electronic general purpose computer. It was designed to be capable of being reprogrammed to solve a large number of numerical problems. ENIAC was conceived and designed by John Mockley and J. Presper Eckert of the University of Pennsylvania. They headed up a team of engineers and others that worked on the ENIAC project, which begun in 1943. The team that worked on the ENIAC included a large number of women who were instrumental in the detailed task of manually programming this giant machine. Programming was accomplished by setting switches and connecting wires according to specific instructions which were first worked out on paper and then carefully carried out and tested. Mapping the program out on paper took weeks. The task of setting the switches and wiring cables to match the program diagram then took many days to complete. When it was originally designed, there was no written manual on how to program the ENIAC. The women involved in the actual programming of the machine relied on block diagrams and logic diagrams of the machine's operation, as well as personal talks with the engineers directly responsible for specific parts of the ENIAC machine. In 1997, the six women who did most of the programming of ENIAC were inducted into the Women in Technology International Hall of Fame. In addition to switch panels and wiring panels, ENIAC used an IBM punch card reader for input and an IBM card punch machine for data output. The timing of these machines was synchronized with the operation of the ENIAC itself. The ENIAC was a very large machine. It weighed over 30 tons. The ENIAC had a total of 40 panels and utilized 18,000 vacuum tubes with 70,000 resistors and 10,000 capacitors. ENIAC also had its own dedicated power lines. To keep the vacuum tubes from overheating, the room was air-cooled. When ENIAC was announced in 1946, the news media called it a giant brain. Its computing speed was 1,000 times greater than that of electromechanical machines. This computational power, along with its general purpose programmability, made it a technical marvel of its time. ENIAC's design and construction was financed by the United States Army. The construction contract was signed on June 5, 1943, and work on the computer began the following month. The cost of the ENIAC in 1946 was just under $500,000, which is equivalent to over six million dollars today. ENIAC was formally accepted by the U.S. Army in July 1946. ENIAC was temporarily shut down on November 9, 1946 for a refurbishment and a memory upgrade. It was then transferred to Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland in 1947. There, on July 29, 1947, it was turned on and remained in continuous operation until it was powered down on October 2, 1955. ENIAC was initially designed to calculate artillery firing tables for the United States Army's Ballistic Research Laboratory. A typical ballistics calculation that previously might have taken 12 hours using a desktop mechanical calculator 
could now be done in just 30 seconds. The ENIAC's other applications included weather prediction, atomic energy calculations, cosmic ray studies, thermal ignition, random number studies, wind tunnel design, and other scientific uses. Here, output from one of ENIAC's printers is being produced. In this scene, we see brilliant ENIAC designers J. Presper Eckert on the left and John Mockley on the right. They would continue their involvement in computer design and manufacture far beyond ENIAC in the years to come. Even before ENIAC was fully operational, both Eckert and Mockley realized they could design and build a significantly more capable and efficient computer, incorporating some design improvements. They began working on a computer they called the EDVAC. EDVAC was delivered to the U.S. Army's Ballistics Research Laboratory in 1949 and made fully operational by 1951. In 1946, the University of Pennsylvania adopted a new patent policy, which would have required Eckert and Mockley to assign all their patents to the university if they stayed beyond March. Unable to reach agreement with the university, both Eckert and Mockley left the Moore School in March 1946, along with many of the senior engineering staff. Soon afterwards, Eckert and Mockley started up the Electronic Control Company. They later changed the name to the Eckert Mockley Computer Corporation, or EMCC. By October 9, 1947, they had a contract with Northrop Aircraft to build the BINAC, or Binary Automatic Computer. EMCC was officially incorporated in December 1947 and was the first commercial computer company founded specifically to produce electronic digital computers. The EMCC had also been working on another computer, the UNIVAC. Before the UNIVAC was completed, Remington Rand purchased EMCC, which then became the UNIVAC division of Remington Rand. UNIVAC 1 was released in 1951. In 1955, Sperry merged with Remington Rand, and the name Sperry Univac was used on many computers until Sperry dropped the name Univac in 1984. Sperry merged with Burroughs in 1986, and that company became Unisys. Here, Herman Goldstein, one of the development team, reads ballistics data output. Today, a portion of the ENIAC still resides at the University of Pennsylvania. Other components of ENIAC reside at the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C., the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California, and other locations. ENIAC remains a milestone in computer development. The brilliant work of Eckert, Mockley, and the many men and women who contributed to this amazing industry is a legacy that lives on to this day.